Hi, Rascals. Welcome back. I'm Miss Shannon. Nice to see everyone again. Today we will be talking about H Brothers. Now, cuties, if you have no idea what Miss Shannon means by H Brothers, don't worry. I want you to pause, go back to my video that teaches you the H Brother story. Then come back in and this will make more sense to you. For those of you rascals who say, we know that, now let's practice them. This is for you. I thought we would create a fun way to go over our four brothers. Our CH, ch -ch, our TH, our WH, wah, wah, and our SH. Shh. Now rascals, we don't always have to use pencil and paper and write out the games. Today is going to be a little movement and listening and watching. Let me explain why I chose these things for these brothers. Our CH, remember, is that ch, ch, ch. I used a checkerboard because if you hear that first sound in there, ch, checkers. How many of you like to play checkers? Me too. It's a great way for your eyes to watch the board. It's also fun to play with a friend. So I highly encourage checkers. TH is my I use that tongue to make that blend. Now I put a pile of clothes there. Rascals, a lot of times we get confused these two words. Close, like I close the door, has that SE. But clothes, like my pile of clothes, uses my TH in the middle. Do you see that, rascals? I know, they sound very similar, but they are different. And the word clothes has my TH brother in it. Give me that tongue sound again. So we use CH for checkers, ch -ch, TH for clothes. Now our WH, what is that above our WH? That is a punctuation mark. That is my question mark because my WH, my what, what, is my question brother. He asks all the questions. What, why, where, when. And then I used shoes for my SH, my quiet brother. Shh. Now, rascals, if you always wear Velcro shoes, I know it's fast, it's easy. But I encourage you now to start working on tying your shoes. If you have not already started, that is a really good skill that I want you to practice. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. So here we go, rascals. What I want from you is I'm going to be pulling out some H brothers. Now, Ms. Shannon's just using a big Mad Hatter hat, but you could put your supplies in a bag, in a backpack, whatever feels good for you. Now, if you look, I'm showing you the sign. See the big H is in the middle to remind us that we have our CH, our TH, our WH, and our SH. Four brothers, four different sounds. So let's see if we can do it. Get those hands stretching high up into the sky, reach in. <gasps> Miss Shannon grabbed a shoe. So if you can, I want you to think which brother would I need for that word shoe. Now I started easy for you because I gave you the same thing that's next to my brother. You're right. It is my SH, my quiet brother, shoe. So let's try it, rascals. Take your shoe, open up the lace. I want you to hold each lace in a hand. Then we are going to turn it and make a knot. So that's the first step of tying our shoes. I make a little knot. Then I like to do one loop. And then I want to go around the loop. And I'm going to push my thumb through. And now I have two loops, rascals. Do you see that? And if I pull my loops tight, I tied my shoe. It's just practice. S-H, shoe. I hear it in the front of that word. Okay, let's try another one. Mm, chips. What do you hear, rascals? Listen to that sound. Chips. Do you hear that CH like in checker? Ch -ch 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 chips. Checkers. Yes, if you said CH, you are right. Good job. 
Now, some of you might not know what this is. This is called a whisk. I use it sometimes when I am cooking. Listen to hear, what do you hear in that word? W -w whisk. Do you hear it as a ch, th, w, or a sh, whisk? If you said W-H, you were right. Whisk is that w, w sound. Nice job, rascals. Now, let's take a little brain break. You know how I like to move. I want you to give me five jumping jacks. Hands out, legs are spread open, and everything closes. One, good. Two, a little faster. Three, four, five, good. Shirt. What do you think, rascals? What do you hear in the word shirt? Ch, th, wa, or sh? Hmm, some of you said ch. Is it a ch, -er, or is it a shirt? Hmm, what do you think? Yes, good job. Sometimes that ch can get confused with that sh, which is who we need in shirt. Nice job. A few more, get into that hat. This is called clam chowder. Listen to that soup name, ch chowder. Mm, what do you think? Good guess. Sorry, it is not the SH. If I give the quiet brother sound, it would say chowder, but I don't want it to be chowder. I want it to be ch ch chowder. Yes, ch ch. Chowder. Here we go. Into that hat. Cheese. Mm. Cheese and chowder use the same brother, rascals. Who is it? Chowder, cheese. Yes, good job. Ch -ch -ch. Doing great, rascals. Let's do a quick run in place for five seconds. How fast can you go? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, good job. A brush. Now this word, rascals, you hear the H brother at the end of the word, not at the beginning. So I want you to hear it. B, R, A, SH, brush. Who's talking at the end of that word? Brush. Do you hear that SH in there? Good job. So even though shoe makes the sound in the front, it's still the same sound. Shoe will use SH sh in the front. Brush will use SH in the back of the word. A picture of a father. Now, this brother is hiding in the middle of the word. I know, these H brothers can be tricky. They're not always at the front. They're not always at the back. In this word father, they're in the middle. Hmm, let's see what we hear in there. Father. Do you hear it as a ch in the middle? A th, a w, or a sh? One more time. Father. Yes, nice job. Did you see how Miss Shannon was using that tongue sound of TH? The word father has the TH in the middle. Nice job. Two more rascals. Some bread. Miss Shannon, that doesn't work for any of those sounds. Yes, but it's wheat. That's what I'm using for this, this bread. It's the type of bread, you're right but it's wah, wah, wheat bread. Do you hear it as a ch, a th, a wah, or a sh? Okay, so if you said th, I'm sorry, that would change the word. It would make it a theet. It's not theet, it's wah, wah, wheat. That is my question, brother, wheat. Good job, rascals, last one chocolate. I bet none of you like to eat chocolate. Who would I need in that sound? Listen to it. 
chocolate, chocolate. Do I hear it as a ch, th, w, or sh? Yes, good job. You're getting so good at these H brothers. It is my CH, 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 chocolate. Okay, last movement. This time, I want to see a cross lateral climb. What that means is my right hand goes up and my left leg comes up. It goes across my body. I know it's not as easy as we think. Sometimes we try to use the same side. For reading, I want you to get used to using left to right. So we're using opposite sides of our body. So let's see if we can climb. Right hand, left leg. Then we switch. Left hand, right leg. Good, now you got it. Good rascals, opposites. We're going the opposite direction. And rest, very good. Now I'm gonna finish. This time you actually get to see the words. You did a great job hearing them and seeing the pictures, but now I'm gonna give you some other words. See if you can see where the blend is hiding. Here we go. The first word, now I want you to look at it, rascals. Who's hiding in the front? Which brother do we see hiding? Do you see that WH in there? And then if you look even closer, it's also a magic E word. Let's see if we can figure it out. Wa, remember what the magic does. It's going to turn this into saying, I'm an A. Wa, ale. Whale. The word is whale using my question brother. My second word, also my brother is hiding in the front of that word. Rascals, who's hiding there? Yes, you see the SH, the quiet brother sound. Shh. Then we have our vowel, I, and our soft sound, P. The word is sh, I, P, sh. Nice job, two more. Now, this word does not have the brother in the front. It's in the back. Remember I told you those brothers can be tricky. They hide in different parts of the word. Now, here's what I like to do. Cover the brother, and how do you read that, rascals? Good, you read it as k, act, then add this brother. What does this brother say to you? Good, now put it together. You have catch, catch, like you catch a ball. Last one, also hiding in the back. Now, I like this word because it also uses my double O. Remember that double O sound of ooh, t, Ooh, with that tongue. Get that tongue out for that last sound. Tooth. Good job. So we used four different words and four different brothers. Whale, ship, catch, and tooth. Good job today, rascals. I hope that helped you with your H brothers. Play some checkers if you can. Tie your shoes, practice. And then I want you to ask your mom or dad one question that you want to hear from them. Try to think of, if it's a question, it must use a what, when, where. Use some question words, why. And then you can play a game using your pile of clothes. Every time someone says a TH word, you could put on something new. So you could run and if someone said to you this, you could put on the first pile of your clothes. Just different ways to have fun with those brothers. Great job today, rascals. If you need me, I'm always here for you. You can come and see me at my website, readingrascals.org. Have a great day, rascals.